April 2nd, 2016. So, uh, this is in my um, Outback Flex Max 80. And we are doing a um, equalizing right now. And um, out of 1,560 watts of solar panel, that's what we have coming in. But that's for my connection from my uh, bus bar at the back of this platform here. The solar array wire coming in from the bus bar, it is a uh, four gauge wire, which is this one and this one. And um, going out to the battery bank, it is um, zero gauge wires. I'm running zero gauge for my positive and zero gauge for my negative. Going out to my uh, battery bank from the uh, Flexmax 80. So that's the connection within my um, Outback Flexmax 80 here. And like I say, my panels are facing west. And that's what's going on right now. I've seen a peak out of this um, 1300 watts. I've seen a peak so far. And I just went up on the roof to um, wash the pollen off the solar panels. My battery state of charge is 80% state of charge. And this is what's charging my batteries as we speak. And like I say, every night we, uh, we flip a few breakers over and um, half of the house literally is running on this at night. As for today, uh, grid tying on the house right now. From one set of panel, we have um, 1176. From the other set of panel, we have 965 watts going from one set of panel. On uh, pin two, we have 1400 watts of panel on pin two. And uh, pin one, we have 1,200 watts of panel on pin one. So out of 1,200 watts of solar array on pin one, that's what we're getting at present. 962 out of 1,400 watts of panel on pin two, we are getting 1,170. Total array on this Aura is 2600 watts of solar panel and we have seen peak of 2791 out of 2600 watts of panel. And that's grid time on the house as we speak. <laughs> so the house runs on this during the daytime. And at night, uh, we're on this. We can also put this into rotation mode. Uh, hold on, I think it's this one. Okay. So now it's going to rotate between the um, This is the um, Aura 3.0 PVI. 
Sorry, great tie inverter. So that's um, a few part. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a few part of my. Uh, that's what's going on the side of the um, my system here, where my wires are concerned. Um, I've been so busy. I didn't really get any time to finish up what's going on out here, but um, for the most part, everything is fine. This wire here, don't pay attention to this. This wire here is for those fans, which I say from time to time, we might plug this on to that and use it in the daytime. And sometimes we just leave it as is, you know, but um, that's why the, the wire is sitting here. Um, yeah, I know it might look a little, a little bit messy, but um, everything is working fine. What I'm thinking about maybe in the near future, though, is upgrade this. I've been looking into the um, Ames um, 24 volts in. 6,000 watts, 240 volts um, inverter, inverter charger. Because what I'm planning to do in the near future is, yes, in the near future, I'm planning to, um, I don't know, maybe take this out and put a second um, breaker panel in here. And um, take everything 120 off the house and run it solely on the um, battery um, day and night. And leave the uh, 240 system, which would be the, uh, the, the AC and the dryer. So... That's what I have in mind is to put a second panel in and take uh, everything 120 and run off the battery and the solar panel, which maybe, maybe not because again, um, we have enough solar panel on the roof where the grid tie, which is the Aurora, uh, is doing the work during the daytime. And like I say, the other transfer that I show you is doing the work at night, but at least I'd have more flexibility because right now I only have um, uh, six of these that I could use, but there's quite a few stuff there on them in the main breaker here. So that's my system again, YouTube. And at present, we are uh, equalizing the batteries today. Batteries at eighty one percent right now. And now it's um eleven thirty. I mean one thousand one hundred and thirty watts going into the uh the batteries right now at forty two amps. And uh we don't start to get full sunlight on this panel. Um do you know what time it is? Yeah, we don't start to get full sunlight on this panel until maybe about um eleven, no, about twelve o'clock on. And it's about two o'clock now. And again, that's my wire uh, configuration in here. And from the distribution block at the back, we have um four gauge wires um coming in to the uh, out back and zero gauge wire going out to the battery back. And this is where the wire comes through from the uh, charge controller. Comes around here, goes into this 80 amp breaker. Four gauge wire comes out. I mean, zero gauge wire comes out and uh, connects right here on the 
that's the negative coming in goes to the shunt comes around comes around and connects right here so we got 12 batteries in total now we got three banks of four batteries in here four batteries wire in series four battery wires in series four battery wires in series and then parallel together And as for um, the inverter over here, that's the um, breaker we have for the inverter that's sitting inside here. And that's the shunt for the um, Victron Energy Monitor. And that's the battery diesel felt battery diesel fader. And we have 150 amp fuse right here and this goes out to the house this is 24 volt system here it goes comes out into a distribution block at the back converted down comes back over into this unit here where we step it down from 24 volts to 12 volts to run the lights upstairs in the bedroom and bathroom because we also have low voltage in the rooms upstairs So that's my system, YouTube. As you can see, um, on the FlexMax 80, covers are back, back covers is back on. Forty-two amps go into the battery. And um, let's take you to the function. So my um, absorbed voltage is 29.4 and my float is 27.6. And we're gonna equalize to, that's my equalized voltage, 32 volts. And we're gonna equalize for two hours. Okay, YouTube, that's uh, Garfield signing off.